Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Today we're going to show you a demo about our new plugin uh, about uh, Lightning Bolt for Natron. So let's see. Uh, this is actually a very quick plugin I have made uh, because I'm in a production rush and uh, we need to work on that really soon. So uh, for that, it, uh, it's, uh, it's in a beta stage or something like that, but you can use it for your production. Anyway, so how to download it is basically go to your Natron uh, website and go to the download and here in the community plugins. Okay, uh, we're going to upload it in our community plugins, official community plugins for Natron. Uh, just download it, uh, extract the zip file and uh, use install it as usual, you know. Uh, here uh, are the instructions for that, just install it like that. So I'm going to start working on it, so let's see, let's go to Natron. So in Natron, you will find our community plugin here in community draw lightning bolt this one or you can just search for press tab actually let me yep ha huh. press tab and lightning lightning so this is the lightning bolt so let's see it press one so you can see the lightning okay uh let's go here let's cache it and let's see so this is a lightning bolt okay so uh, I'm I will go very fast here so let's see uh, the first thing is uh, you will see that this is a root position which is actually the root axis this one is tail position which is the tail of your you know lightning thing and yeah okay so root and tail now uh, let's go here so this is the root position and tail position you can use your tracker for root and tail linking uh, as well uh, there are controls uh, so first see let's see what is controls there is a stroke count uh, currently it is one if you want to increase it you can increase it two. now if we go here you can see let's go here you can see two we can increase it three four five six seven and I think uh, the viable thing is three or four maximum so yeah I will uh, I will develop it uh, furthermore because uh, actually <laughs> I'm through a production right now and uh, currently in a deadline so uh, yeah this is just uh, for emergency things so I will try to develop it much more further let's see let's see what we can do okay so now you can see uh, there is a stroke count so two okay let's go to two there is a stroke distance which is basically the distance okay you can increase the distance here and it will like that okay so okay now you can see that uh, our distance is randomizing per frame so if you want to turn it off you can turn it off like randomize zero and now it will be just like that okay pretty cool so yeah all right so here we go uh, and if you want to randomize it actually well uh, it's much more better so I'm just going to use randomizing and it will randomize a little bit you know it will give it a super super thing so it's, it's good and there is a flicker rate so the flicker rate is basically the light saber uh, you know light strobes we are having so flicker rate uh, if you go to zero it will not flicker at all yeah f you know for something like plasma or something like that you can use that uh, you can also use flicker you know super high 20 uh, it will give you the flicker zoom 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 it's like Thor okay so here we go threshold threshold is basically the intensity uh, you can you know, you know super intensive light is strong it's more like that and there is low intensity which you can use as well it's up to you so this is actually the threshold uh, the standard one is basically 8.5 okay and color color is color uh, you can change all of your color here okay so you can change anything here which is good 
okay so now cut off what is cut off cut off is basically cutting off your edges okay cutting off the thing you can also flip it if you want to flip it okay it will flip it uh, you can animate it as well not a problem uh, let's see cut off there is feather if you go sharp you can see the sharp feather here you can go very good feather but the default one is pretty good so there we go uh, also we have given you some rotation but I don't think it's needed so yeah so something like that okay so you can animate it everything is animatable by the way so let's see animation so let's see uh, let's go here uh, you know set key all in dimension uh, let's use something like that let's use something like that key all dimension how much here let's see okay. yeah, something like that okay so it can be animated as well so not a problem so you can use that I'm just going to remove them right now I don't need that so there we go okay first thing first is done so now let's go to the noise controls what is noise control noise control is basically a noise there are tons of noises like FBM noises we are going to use this one as default but you can use also Verna Verna is a very cool one and turbulence is a very cool one so I'm going to use Ver uh, FBM for this uh, it depends on your project and this is a noise size you can you know increase or decrease the noise as usual you can ship it Z0 uh, is basically um, the three-dimensional uh, Z axis uh, parameters uh, we don't need to use that we need animation seat animation seat is if you go to the zero you will see it will stay same there will be not uh, no animation okay if you go one it will animate everything at all so uh, let's let's go to flicker let's turn off flicker right now you can see that it is animated right and if I'm going to zero you can see that is not actually animated okay so uh, let's turn off randomize as well so you can see everything is under control so if I'm going to animate it the traditional animation will go on so uh, you, you will see the lots of customization so yeah use it with your flavor okay so now uh, these are basically pretty much random uh, pretty much standard noise setups uh, so uh, we are using FBM FBM has octaves and you know you can smooth it you can increase it decrease it uh, you can use some lucrency uh, I think it is lacunarity <laughs> okay so uh, you can make your details here yeah? so you know age details so yeah you can do that gain is basically you know the constra contrast level of the displacement so use it uh, whenever you want to okay if I'm going to uh, Voronoi Voronoi has there are lots of you know, various kinds of Voronoi you can use pretty much everyone but I have seen that type 4 is working pretty well so use it like that and these setups these three setups are only for Voronoi by the way Voronoi is very much uh, in uh, CPU intensive so use it with care okay yeah so you can make lots of stops with it as well so not a problem but I'm going for FPM for the time being okay so these are this and uh, what else credit note okay done so now Let's see some uh, uh, practical example. So I'm just going to copy this guy. You can see this is HD720. I don't know where this image has come from, but I know I got it from internet. So I'm just going to again lightning bolt. And what we have to do is basically I'm going to uh, tell you the story here. Um, this is a 720 uh, uh, footage. So the main project is actually 720. So uh, press S, okay. If if you don't have the properties, so press S, and uh, you know take your output format. So this one is 720. So I'm going to 720. Now um, there are two 
perks okay one is bg which is basically the background and there is a bg optional cloud optional node so uh, let's see first what does this bg do so let's plug it in and let's see now okay double click here and now you will see your standard uh, bg thing here okay which is great so let's use let's use stroke count two there we go let's use this so, so like a randomization okay stroke distance let's turn it on here like that okay so everything is working pretty nicely here which is good you can change the color a little bit yeah like that I'm not, I'm not sure I'm just giving it a nudge and hunch so there we go okay um, now the thing is there is a BG cloud optional what does it do you can see that if I'm going to one you can see there are some clouds right so what we can do is basically if we go one yeah we can actually uh, uh, plug a cloud texture here so if I'm going to plug it here actually let's do it something like yeah let's go here BG optional so now you can see that it takes your cloud structure which is great you know it takes your cloud structure so what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to turn it off and let's go here uh, let's go to BG optional uh, I'm going to CC a color correction mode uh, actually uh, not here there we go I'm going to CC a color correction uh, let's enable the BG there we go so in this color correction color correction what we can do is basically we can you know desaturate the thing we can do some contrast gamma and again stuff to get some contrast here yeah something like that okay now let's see you can see it's taking the shapes of your clouds which is great okay so you can use that like that as well you can see the shape of your cloud is there so you know uh, if it was animated it would be uh, just like that you know that's pretty good so you can use your contrast to shape the thing here and there actually we need it for our production so I have given it like that I will uh, update it uh, accordingly because uh, I'm right now very busy too much busy with my production and you know uh, so yeah it's just, it just a quick little script for you to try so use it and uh, yeah so that's it that's actually the thing okay so yeah all right so I'm Father Sympathic from City Virus and we're going to sh see you next time. Bye bye.